kit. Yeah, we will unleash this kit and uh, to remind you, this kit is a bootleg. Yep, and it's one of the hunted book bootlegs right now. But I know they're already available on Shopee, and there are so many shops that uh, sell them in OP or overpriced. But yeah, I consider that because it's uh, it's just a matter of supply and demand in business. So it's okay. I'm also a businessman. I understand that. But yeah. If you will wait, you can buy. You if you wait, you can buy the cheaper one. But yeah, for those who goes panic order, <laughs> like me, I bought a little bit higher in price. But yeah, it's it's okay. So without further ado, let's open this kit right here. Let's go with my cutter. Yeah, it's a hobby knife, not a cutter. Let's go. Let's unleash. <laughs> The HGRX124 Fighter TR6 Wound Ward Wound Ward in uh, Bandai. Yeah. So in Bandai, this is already a premium Bandai kit. And it's not a not uh let's say a release which we can really get it. Yep. So I think there's also a wound word was that was already a bootleg on the past. I think that starts in uh, early 2000s. And then we have here right now another bootleg which is I think it follows the HG model or the premium Bandai HG model of the wound word. Okay, is that wound word? I don't know. It's wound word. Yeah. Okay. So here in the box you can see there the wound word. Wound wart, wound wart, okay, whatever. And then here at the side, yeah, it's like a kind of premium bandai look, but yeah, it's not monotone, so it's colored, so it's not really premium bandai look. But the positioning of those uh, poses is like the premium bandai, yeah. So I would like just to pick, okay, it's not yet an unboxing. You know me, I really want to be sure. Uh, because I've ordered this outside the country, it's overseas, so yeah, maybe there is a scam, but I hope it's not. But yeah, I know I can trust the seller because I saw some of reviews the which are good. And yeah, let's see, and I would like to see it. And also, just to check the quality of the plastic, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, we have some stickers right here. I don't know if it's a water slide, but yeah, we have. Poly cups. Mm, I think it's like, uh, for me as a, already, almost eight years as a gun club uh, builder, the, um, the quality of the plastic is like Daban. It's like Daban, yeah. Because it's it's uh, if it's pretty homely kind of plastic, there will be something mold lines that we can see it that we can see on the surface uh, of the uh, plastic. But right here, it's not. But there is some some something that I can see that's like a daban kind of plastic. But yeah, still you will not look at this uh, in, in the entire one hour or a, uh, a whole day. So it will just a skip of the eyes. Then, yeah, it's good for display. Yeah, for display, that's the purpose of this one. So, yeah, I'll go with it. And, yeah, I can't afford the overpriced sellers that have the one board. I already have a premium Bandai kind of one. That I think it's the Hazel. TR1 Hazel. Is, is that, am I correct? Yeah. So, okay. So, we have here the RX124 Fighter TR6 one work, But in Bandai, this is TR6 one work. Okay, so it's a very... A unique kind of design of Gunpla, which it has kind of that fit right there. It's like, uh, I don't know what it's like, but yeah, uh, because this Gunpla or this Gundam is meant to uh, fly on space or hover on space, so it doesn't need some fit, so it's it needs boosters and some gliding kind of mechanism. So yeah, that's it, okay? So that's our video for today. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. So if you are interested in this kind of content, please do consider to like, share, comment, subscribe, and please hit that notification bell to be informed for my next videos and contents next time. There's still so many kinds of contents here on the channel.
Okay, so it's for now guys. Thank you so much. Good morning, good noon, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Just the best and all. And come for you. Bye.